Hello everyone, hopefully you guys are having a great day today. Today I'm gonna to be installing some Acuity uh, shift linkage bushings on my 10th gen Civic Si to 2018. And then also I'm gonna be installing a Costco Interstate battery. Uh, I'll be replacing my OEM one. Haven't had that many issues with my OEM one except uh, my car did die a couple weeks ago. I had it in the on position, listened to the radio for only about five minutes. Did a little research and I heard that the uh, OEM batteries aren't that great and I'm not gonna mess around uh, going to the dealership and having to swap that out. So, you know, I, I spent about, uh, I think it's about 80 bucks for the, the battery at Costco. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. All right, so the first thing you guys are gonna do is remove the battery. Uh, and it is a 10 millimeter socket starting with the negative terminal. Next, you'll need a uh, 10 millimeter long extension for the battery tie down. All right, next thing you want to do is to take out the pins. Be careful not to drop them. A lot of people seem to do that. What you want to do is you want to pry out with your nail and then pull at the same time like that. There we go. All right, now you wanna pop the shifter cable right off of this, like so. All right, so next we're gonna pop the bushing out. What you wanna do is hold the shifter cable bushing as close as you can so you don't mess up the, the shifter. Real grip it real nice and tight like this and then stick a screwdriver in through here and then work it out back and forth and then the old bushing should come out. Well, there we go. There you have it guys, here's the old bushing, like so. All right, next we're gonna put the small shifter bushing on, in place of the old one. All right, next what you guys wanna do is Put the bushing in and then put the clip on the underside until it's fully seated in. And there you go guys, finally got it right there. So you got it on, trainer ring on the bottom, put it back right in the place. Pop back on, there you have it. All right, next thing you want to do like before is grab onto the shifter bushing and then you want to stick the screwdriver in the middle and then wobble it back and forth out. There we go. There you have that out. All right, next you're going to make sure that this side's down when you install it and then we're going to put the C ring clamp back down. So here we go. There we go. Clips right in like that. Got it in. All the grooves are all the way around the edge. Like so. And then you want to make sure that side's down right there. Flip it back over. Make sure that is right side up right here. Put it back in. Pop it in. Next we'll take both the clips and then put the pins back in. There we go. All right guys, and that's uh, pretty much it. Just uh, next is reverse install of uh, the battery and you'll be good to go. For startup. See how it feels. A little bit stiffer. A 
then again remember guys you're gonna get all the errors and everything on there so um, yeah just make sure you drive it for about 10 minutes and you should be good to go all right guys so I just got back from driving testing it out drove about 25 minutes uh, around the block uh, dropped, uh, dropped off my core battery to Costco went and fueled up at Chevron came back and to be honest with you, I really didn't notice that much of a difference. Um, I know there were some people saying that they did notice some a little bit more notchier, but they noticed it at uh, higher RPMs or something like that. Uh, I revved it a couple times. I was going in and out of gear, gave it some gas a couple times. I honestly really didn't feel that much of a difference. So would I recommend this product? No, probably not. I wouldn't. And then uh, also keep in mind, I do have the, uh, the Acuity rocker arm and then the spring to go with it. So I have that, and then I have the, uh, the bearings now. So um, again, it was a pretty, pretty easy install, I'd say. Hardest thing was getting that, uh, the new C-ring clamp on that smaller uh, bearing. That was the hardest part, but everything else was, was fairly easy. Um, and uh, yeah, if you guys really enjoyed this, uh, I know I've been, been, been lagging on videos now and then. Uh, just uh, give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and then uh, suggestions or comments below. Thanks.